Hello, uh, today we're going to be running through the second part of the benzoic acid practical. It's a follow on from the, uh, the first stage of the practical that you did last week. Um, today we're going to be um, purifying your uh, impure benzoic acid uh, crystals uh, by recrystallisation. First of all, I'm going to get a boiling tube and the benzoic acid crystals from last week. I'm going to add all of these into the boiling tube. So very carefully, it might take a couple of minutes. Okay, I've now added uh, all of the impure benzoic acid crystals into the boiling tube. Um, I'm going to now place this into a hot water bath I've already prepared. Also in the hot water bath is a separate tube of deionized water which has been warming up previously. So if I take a boiling tube, place in the bath. Okay, uh, we've had our um, boiling tube of impure benzoic acid crystals in the water bath for a couple of minutes. We are going to use the uh, hot deionized water as a solvent uh, to dissolve the impure benzoic acid crystals. Now this uh, has to be fairly hot, um, ideally about 90 degrees centigrade. Um, you can check the temperature if you want with a thermometer. It hasn't got to be exact. Um, but it has to be fairly hot, We're about 89 degrees in that, okay. So now I'm going to add um, the hot deionized water into my boiling tube of uh, benzoic acid crystals um, a little bit at a time and we want to re-dissolve or dissolve uh, the crystals in the minimum amount of um, deionized water possible. So. So I'll add a little bit. I should add that if your water bath is boiling too vigorously, you can move the Bunsen out so it doesn't overboil. I'll just hold the boiling tube, give it a little shake. I'm going to leave more in there, I can see. Um, the protocol says to um, shake the boiling tube in the water bath, which you can do. You can also, if you find it easier, uh, stir with a glass rod gently, which I might well do actually. Mm. Just, can I just get this one here? It'll so be more. Um, okay, um, my benzoic acid crystals have now uh, dissolved in the uh, hot deionized water. I am now going to uh, remove the tube and uh, remove that from the hot water bath carefully and place into the, uh, into the rack. And we're going to leave that uh, to cool slowly um, until crystals start forming. Right, we've now got our crystals forming, as you can see, beautiful crystals. And to finish off the crystallisation process, I'm just going to pop them in a beaker of ice water and leave it for a while.
Right, the crystals have now been cooling for a while. So if I hold them over this tray, you can see them. They're quite beautiful. So next, what you're going to do is take these and you're going to put them through, your, through the vacuum pump again, like you did last week. You may need to loosen them up a bit with a glass rod. And then when you've done that, put them on a watch glass into the tray provided for next week.